for serving seven winters and six summers, Remy Ma finally released from prison. Oh. Hey you guys, welcome back. Thank you so much for stopping by. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button and become a part of the default L click. And don't forget to hit the notification bell on your way out. Ooh, we got some goodies. I am the last person on earth to have any of these products, but I am super, super glad that I finally picked it up. So we have Beauty Bakery. Yes. I wanted to do like a review on the new foundations and the little products that I got. So I'm going to do a quick haul of the things that I got. Um, I am going to use the Sonia Kashik, Sonia Kashik, Sonia K Beauty Blenders because so many people are raving about it and they're hyped up so I went out to Target 8 o'clock this morning and was like got to get these and I did I did get the five piece focus I did get the five piece for 15 so these are the two bigger ones I'm going to use this for foundation and I'm going to use this one for my concealer but I did want to quickly show you guys that Sonia K also has a body blender just like real techniques i will come back later and do a battle of the body blenders y'all look at how cute they pack it like this is so adorable i see everybody using beauty bakery brianna marie uh taylor may jane auntie jackie Ina. like i see everybody use it and i'm like why don't I have Beauty Bakery in my collection? So, as you know, I already did my eyes because we're going to be doing face and lips. So, I went ahead and did my eyes off camera. So, the first thing I got is the Beauty Bakery Flower Setting Powder. Y'all, this packaging is so adorable. And I also got the Beauty Bakery Illuminator, and it's in So Icy, which looks like a pint of ice cream. Okay, is this So Icy or Frozen? I think I got Frozen. It says So Icy on the front, but it has Frozen on the bottom. So I think this one is Frozen. And then, of course, of course, of course, I had to get the Cake Mix, the Demi Matte Foundation. It's vegan, long-lasting, and non-acnegenic, non-acnegenic formula. Y'all, this stuff is so cute. Look at it. This shade number is 21. I did get two different ones because I don't know what is my shade. But according to Mama Jackie and Brianna Marie, I know Brianna is a tad bit darker, so I watched her so that I could stay away from whatever color she chose. And I went for more of Mama Jackie's type of color because a lot of the foundations she has and I purchased, they actually seem to match me pretty well. So I did jump out and get number 21, and then this one is number 22. Then the last two products is because of Taylor May Jane. She loves these lip combos together. So I think this was Beauty Bakery. It was either Beauty Bakery or Colored Rain. But I went with the Beauty Bakery and I got these shades Chocolate for Breakfast and Honey. So if you guys are in for this type of video, go ahead and keep watching. And once again, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you would like a tutorial on this eye look, make sure to comment down below. Let your girl know. Okay, so y'all, I heard and watched a lot of reviews on this foundation. So your girl is kind of nervous because even Mama Jackie was just like, uh, I don't know about this foundation like everybody says it's patchy it looks patchy and I'm a little terrified but we're gonna try it okay so I don't have the baking oil 
I forgot all about the baking oil. Mama Jackie did say that you were supposed to use the baking oil with it. So can I use the Josie Marin Pure Argan Oil? I'm going to do the Argan Oil. Okay, so this is the number 22. Swatch it right here. I learned this from Mama Jackie, y'all. Uh, swatch down here to see if it matches. And here is 22. As you can see, it's a tad bit dark. Just a little bit. So we're going to let that settle in and see. And then we're going to put 21 on this side. Ooh. This is number 21. And it looks like that. We're going to put it here. And we're going to let that one marinate in too. I'm about to show you guys. So this is number 21. And this one is number 22. And I'm kind of on the fence about both. Hmm. This one is pulling like a little more darker, but this one is trying to look a bit more red. Okay, I'm going to go with 22. The way it's drying down, it's like looking more suitable for my skin tone. So I think I'm going to go with number 22. We're just going to do that. And we're going to take our Sonia Kashuk brush and, I mean, sponge, and we're going to try to mix it in. I mean, work as fast as we can. Okay, side with foundation here's the side without it's not bad like and it has a smell to it I don't know what that smell is but it's not bad but you really can't tell a difference Picking it right back up. It doesn't really look like it's staying. And I don't know if it's because I didn't have the right oil. You see that, right? Like, it is like real patchy everywhere. Like, you see where it won't stay nope look it came back off what the hell mm -mm. Mm -mm. I can't walk out the house looking like this y'all y'all know I go to work every day and I can't be looking patchy like this like it's horrible look Look at that. That is horrible. Oh my God. 
foundation is a no-go i'm sorry like i thought everybody was tripping but i even used some type of oil with the foundation and oh my god it look oh that is horrible oh my god okay i'm gonna try my next total drops uh total control drops in the shade nutmeg I do have cappuccino I think it is yeah I do have cappuccino but cappuccino pulls a little red on me that's why I don't wear it but I love I love 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 the foundation itself we're gonna try nutmeg which nutmeg looks to be a little too light I didn't want to go down to mocha because mocha would have been even darker so let's see but I'm going to mix nutmeg with my cappuccino. Y'all, that foundation is a no-go for me. Oh, my God. We're just going to try to go over it. I tried to fix it and it still looks like shit. I have to start over like okay i'm not here to bash anybody but mama jackie and cousin brianna marie told me so and i was like nah it gotta be something they missing let me get in i bet y'all can make it work nah sis So I'm going to take my flour powder and set my face. Hopefully, I hope I'm not discouraged. too bad kind of liking it okay I look like a ghost on camera but I think it's just my light setting so I don't have no face setting powder from beauty bakery so I'm use my Revlon nearly naked fairly naked and medium to deep this is a oldie but goodie I used to kill it as you could tell I hit pan in it I do have an extra one is not the day like <sighs> yeah I don't think today is the day why what is <sighs> I don't get it Last 
lashes. We're going to try to put those on and see how those work. Hopefully, this doesn't screw up the look. Hopefully, it'll bring the look back together. So, I'll be back once I put on the lashes. Like, you guys, I'm so over it right now. I'm so over it. So, I, I'll be back once. Yeah. All right, you guys. I'm back with lashes bottom lashes done all that good stuff so what i want to go ahead and do is try my illuminator in frozen <laughs> with the highlighter that highlighter is bomb now it's time to test out the lips so we're gonna start off with chocolate for breakfast and then we shall be finished we're gonna outline with chocolate for breakfast then we're gonna finish up with honey that is the completed look so let's talk about uh, let, let's talk let, let's talk about this it was a no-go like whatsoever it messed me up and threw my vibes of a makeup look completely off the flower powder and the illuminator was bomb i could see myself using this frozen highlighter like way more often the lipstick the the the, the, la, 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 la. the liquid lipstick is bomb it is a actual matte it says it's a lip whip and it's smudge free yeah i love the lips and i do believe this is my new favorite lip combo so i do apologize now the flower powder i'm gonna have to try again because it's good, but I feel like I screwed up. If I give y'all up close. Honestly, it almost feels like a wasted $38, $48. Like, it was real life wasted. I thought everybody else was tripping when they complained about the foundation. But now that I used it for myself, yeah, no. I hope that this video did help you guys out and give you the information that you needed. And if you would like to see me do anything else, go ahead and comment down below and I'll get that started for you guys. Um, but until next time, I love you diamonds and I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and don't forget to hit that notification bell. Once you comment, go ahead and hashtag D4L gang so that you will appear, your comment will appear in a future video. I throw comments throughout the whole videos just to show my love and support and appreciation to everyone that's supporting me. And we're almost at 900 diamonds, almost at 900. And once we get to 900, we'll be well on the way to 1K. So you diamonds keep supporting Go ahead and share with everybody as soon as we hit 1K, baby, you will get the biggest giveaway that I've done on my channel yet. So I love you, babies, and I'll see you in the next one. You better run from it. You used to get to me mentally. I don't fuck with your energy. You know better, you would do better. But you don't know shit, so I'll do better.